And then Windows 10 host running Hyper-V Manager, we have a lot of options for auto starting a server. So if we right click on one of our servers and go to settings, and again, this is any virtual machine, it doesn't have to be a server, but uh, we can go to where it says automatic start action. So what, what this does is when we restart the host, and in this case, it's a Windows 10 uh, computer running Hyper-V, you can tell it to do one of three things. You can have it do nothing with the virtual machine. So this is set per virtual machine. And in this case, we can say do nothing, don't turn it on when the host gets restarted. We can tell it to automatically start the virtual machine if it was running when we went to restart the host. Or we could say, hey, it doesn't matter whether it was running or not, just go ahead and start it up. You can also create a, an automatic start delay. And the reason you want to do this is if you have a lot of virtual machines. So if you have, say, 10 virtual machines, you don't want them all starting at the same time because the load would be tremendous on the server, or in this case, on the Windows 10 computer. So what you want to do is set up this startup delay. So if you have, say, 10 virtual machines, you could say the first one starts at zero seconds, the second virtual machine, we can go in and start it at 15 seconds, then 30 seconds, or maybe even farther apart, depending on how fast or slow your uh, Windows 10 computer is. So that, that can definitely help keep the processor from uh, spiking at 100% and slowing everything down. So that's how we set up our automatic start actions in Windows 10 Hyper-V.